Hey, what's up guys, Case Kira here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 11 beta to iOS 10. So without using any iTunes. Also, this process may not gonna be remove any existing data. So without wasting any time, let's get started. All right, so this is the iPhone 6 and it's currently running on iOS 11 beta. So let me go quickly, gonna show you the version. And there we go, it's running on the iOS 11.0. So anyway, we'll be downgrading back to the iOS 10 since it's a very pretty buggy at the moment. So the first thing that you do is uh, go to the settings, general, and the touch ID and passcode. So make sure that you have to uh, turn off the passcode. And if you have any fingerprint register, you have to remove all of those fingerprints, don't forget to turn off the passcode. So once you've done so, so as you can see, I have installed some of the third party apps like PayPal. Instagram and if you go to the photos, I have also some of the uh, photos So why I am showing this because this process may not going to be remove any information So even after downloading back to the iOS 10 I'm going to show you that I'm going to prove that these apps on data will be still there So anyway back to the computer so that title of the video says that we're not going to be using the iTunes so We'll be using a special tool called I my phone so this company makes a phenomenal software and thanks to them and anyway, so uh, you will find the link in the description down below. So this software is available for free as well as a premium. You can choose either Windows as well as the Mac platform. So go ahead and select try it for free. And you can also buy it for premium features. So once it's done downloading, so you can go ahead and open it. And when you first time open it and you have to install it on your computer. Now we have successfully done installing it and now go ahead and launch the software for the first time. So when you first time open it and the welcome screen will look like this. Go ahead and click on the start and the back to the camera view. So now take off USB cable from the computer and connect it to the phone. So the first time it's going to be asked you to trust this computer. So go ahead and click on trust. So now as you can see the message shows your device is connected now. So now we need to put our device into the DFU mode aka recovery mode. For this, first we need to turn off the phone. So hold the sleep wake button. So now we can see this message swipe to power off. Once the phone is successfully turned off, so now we need to hold the power as well as the home button for 10 seconds, exactly 10 seconds. So keep holding these two buttons up to 10 seconds. So after the 10 seconds, uh, you remove the uh, sleep wake button and then keep holding the uh, home button. So on the uh, system, you can see this message. Also, you can see the uh, start button may appear here. Click on that. Once you click on that and then it's going to be automatically going to be fetched information about your iPhone and if anything is wrong so you have to correct it yourself. So anyway, so this automatically all of the results shown here is exactly correct and then it's going to be recommend you to download the latest version of iOS which is still being signed. So click on the download and it's going to be start downloading and it's going to, after the download is completed it's going to be installed. So personally I have the a premium membership of the software so now I'm going to be go and then choose this option at the bottom so if you select if you click on the uh, select so that's going to be allow me to uh, navigate for the file which ends with the dot ipsw so basically i have downloaded this file through the browser and i have placed it somewhere on my pc and then remember this is exclusively for the uh, premium uh, feature if you want to buy it now so go ahead and buy and this is a fantastic feature of this software you can download either directly or you can download through the offline and you can install it using that feature so anyway after that it's going to be a start extracting the firmware and remember during the process make sure that you have connected to the internet because this software will going to be communicate with the apple servers to ensure that the firmware that you're going to install is assigned by apple so anyway the installation process might going to be take around five to ten minutes Please be patient and don't interrupt anything. Now, as you can see, it's almost uh, completing and uh, it has to yet to be done. So once it's done, you can see the message on your system. Fixing system is done. When you see this message, now everything is done. So back to the camera view now, you have to take off your USB cable and leave your iPhone to ensure that you have to complete the a updating process. There we go, so that's it. Now we have successfully uh, downgraded from iOS 11 beta to the iOS 10. So this is the lock screen of the iOS 10. 
and there you go, it's a new control center, as it goes to old control center in iOS 10. And now, there we go, we have all of those apps. So that means there is no data loss. You can see the PayPal as well as Instagram. And there is no data loss. If you go to the settings, and if you go to the general, and if you click on the about, now you can see it's running on the iOS 10.3.1. So, yeah, so one more a bonus tip for you guys. So just in case, uh, first go to the settings and let me tell you what is I'm talking about. So go to the general and there the profile so you can see the uh, iOS beta software profile. So this is the actually the iOS 11 beta profile. So this is actually letting me to install the iOS 11 beta. So if you don't want to install iOS 11 beta, you can delete that to ensure that you can receive the iOS updates regularly as before. So once you remove those profiles and then you have to turn off your phone and then after you turn off phone, go ahead and turn it on back. Now if you go to the settings again, let me quickly gonna go and show you the version it's running on. So there we go, so iOS 10.3.1. So now if you want to receive the updates regularly, go and check the software updates. As usual, you will be able to get the normal software updates. That's about it and thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is your host, KSK Ryle, signing off. Bye-bye now.